Shaq did have a significant ankle injury. Um, probably going to miss some extended time, but we need some further evaluation tomorrow with the doc, so we'll give you the information when, when, we, have, when we have a full evaluation. Um, you know, tough loss. Uh, you know, there, there's, we just got to own every bit of it. We got to learn from it. We got to get better. Um, obviously, I thought the defense really played well, kept us in the game for a long time. Uh, I was encouraged, you know, at 6-3 at halftime and feel like we were struggling on O, like we were behind the sticks all the time. Um, and, you know, just couldn't get a rhythm, we couldn't get momentum on offense. You know, some penalties and some miscues here and there uh, had us behind the sticks. Um, defense kept us in, made plays, got some turnovers. Um, you know, that was good. I thought special teams played well. Um, you know, I just been talking in there for a little bit, not with the team, just talking with a couple guys. Like I've seen, seen this before. It's not that far away. It looks bad, um, but really, I don't believe it's that far away. You know, we make a couple plays here, we um, are here and there, and the next thing you know, you got 28, 30 points. Uh, just, I know that's true. I know we have the players and the coaches to do it. Um, I have zero doubt about that. It's just we have to execute better on offense. I'll open it up from there. Frank, is there a couple of plays you would point to that kind of back that up, what you're saying about being close? Yeah, I, um, fair question, Joe. I, you know, let me look at the film just to really before. And again, I don't like to single plays or players out, you know, but I just know in the course of that game, I, there were a couple opportunities um, here and there that we just we just got to be better on and have a chance. Frank, obviously Bryce is under a lot of pressure. Um, how do you feel about the way he's handling that pressure? There? I think Bryce is handling pressure pressure well. Listen, he's a quarterback, you know, head coach, quarterback, right? We're, you know, we're we're going to take the heat as, and that just comes with the territory. So um, you own that, and you understand that when you're in that position, and Bryce understands that for the position that he's in. So. Um, I can tell you this, it's certainly, you know, our struggle on offense, it's, it's not one person. Um, again, I will look at the film, but, you know, I thought Bryce still did some really positive things. Um, made some good, made some plays with his feet, made some good decisions, made good throws, um, showed plenty of things that we want to see. So I was encouraged by that. I, I know how hard it is to play that position. I've been around it a long time. Um, and, and I know how dependent it is on everything. So we all got to get better. Um, everybody's got to get better, coaches and players. Um, so that, that's the way we work through it. What do you think of the receiver play for the getting that separation? Uh, yeah, I thought, you know, I thought the receivers ran good routes. Um, I thought at times, you know, I thought there's some things that looked good out there at times. Um, so again, I got to take a closer look at the film, but I'm confident in our group of receivers. I, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm confident in our group of receivers. Frank, I know that it was just something that you guys were doing with preseason where you would call the first half, Thomas Brown would call the second half. When you get kind of in an offensive rut like tonight, does it, you know, does it ever come up as a possibility to possibly let him get in and call a few or is just, is that not a change that you would make in game? Yeah, that's not a change I would make in game. Um, listen, the way I've mentioned this before, the way we call plays, you know, I'm calling plays, but it's very collaborative. I'm talking to those guys on the sideline, but I'm the one who calls them. And, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm always going to do what I think is best for the team. Right now, I think it's best for the team that I'm calling plays. Um, I'm confident in the play calling. Um, we all got to get better, but I'm, I'm not ready to, to do anything there. Thomas is a great coach. He's you know, one day I do want him to, one day I want him to call it, when that will be, I don't know. Um, but, you know, right now, I know it, it's, it's a lot of things. It's not, the, it's not the play calling. I can be better. All the coaches can be better. All the players can be better. I'm not saying it's perfect, but um, I'm confident that we have the coaches and the players and the play caller to be better on offense. Right, is there a physicality to the run game that, sorry, physicality element to the run game that especially short yardage you're looking to enhance for this team moving forward because the offensive line is juggling a few pieces there but is that problematic from your view right now? I thought last week you know we ran the ball well um, and then we didn't get the run game we didn't get to the run game early we were behind the sticks I just felt like we were behind in long yardage situations I had to go back and look at it but it just felt to me like I wanted to call more runs we had that one nice run on the second play of the game 
Um, I thought, ooh, that's, that's a good sign, downhill run. We busted up out there for plus 10, um, but just had a hard time getting back to some of the runs when we were behind the sticks. Frank, Throckmorton was in late. Was that injury or other? Um, no, that was just, we had talked about giving him a few plays, you know, in the game. Um, so that was, that was kind of planned out. Given, right. that, given that it came after a turnover, how big of a blow was that fumble in first half? The, the what now? Given it was right after you guys forced the turnover, how big was that fumble by Bryce in the first half? You know, every turnover hurts, right? I mean, um, every turnover hurts. That's one of those unfortunate ones where he's, he made a lot of plays with his, he made several plays with his feet today. This one, the guy coming behind him, you know, gets the ball out. So it was a tough break, but, you know, we got to got to try to minimize turnovers. Frank, you brought up wanting to run the ball more. Um, this game was a tie game or a three-point game until, like, three minutes left in the third quarter. From a rhythm standpoint as a play caller, how, how, is there someone who kind of, Tells you what everything's going on. Do you have like a sounding board on the sideline that you can really rely on? Oh, yeah. I mean, believe me, I'm talking to everybody. You know, I'm talking to everybody all the time. You know, primarily I'm talking to Thomas. Um, you know, primarily talking to Thomas. I'm talking to Parks Frazier, who's our pass game coordinator. And I'm talking to Kent and our line coach. Those are the main guys. You know, so um, we're all collaborating. So everybody else feeds their information through those three guys. And then, you know, I'm talking to those three guys about, you know, finding out, hey, what's What's our next move? You know, we collaborate on that together in between series, sometimes in between plays. You know, sometimes thinking out two plays in advance, I'll be calling a play on first down and I'll say, hey, Thomas and Parks, be looking at third down. Let's just look at the third down options so we can talk about it when we get there. Frank, um, Frank. So kind of in that mode. Frank, um, a few scattered boos uh, tonight at various times when the offense was on the field. Is that just also part of playing quarterback? And then yeah, and that's that's not for. I don't think that's Bryce. I mean, that's that's on that's on me. That's on our team. Um, so that's part of it. Right? You know, that's part of it. You know, so I don't like it. You know, I believe me. We want to give the fans wins and exciting and exciting brand of football. That's our. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're planning on doing. It's a process. You know, we're two games into a seventeen game season. Um, things haven't gone. Things haven't gone the way we wanted. But and nobody's throwing in the towel. It's a long year. Um, you know, we got another game coming up here Sunday. It'll be up on us real quick. So we got to learn from this one and get better for next week. Frank, Frank, we didn't see much of Chuba tonight after he had nine carries last weekend. What was the, the deal there? I just think it was more like we couldn't get the run game going, you know, and just not as many. Play. We had 79 plays last week. You know, we had 79 offensive plays. I was, I think, might have been the most in the NFL last week. It was right up there. So naturally, everybody was going to get more plays on offense tonight. You know, I don't know what we had, but I, mean, I know it wasn't anywhere close. I and mean, like I said, we just got. I just felt like we got we were struggling a little bit behind the sticks, um, and I felt like I felt like we were going to snap out. I felt like we hit a couple plays, and you know that there were a couple things that looked good, and I thought we were going to snap out of it, and we just couldn't seem to do that. So um, you know, we'll keep working. Frank, hey, we'll, 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 we'll do one more and just do the last one. Frank, and, and Steve Reed. You had, you had some slow starts in Indy and then turned it around and finished with uh, above 500 records. And when it gets to a point like this, what is the direction you have to take as a head coach? What does the message have to be? I mean, it, it's, 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 it's a week-to-week -week league. All that matters is the next week. So, you know, we started 1-5 and five and made the playoffs, you know, um, one year. So, um, I'm not saying that's easy to do. We don't want to do that. We don't want to start off poorly, but you know, every year it happens. Um, you know, so we can't play all the hypothetical scenarios. In this league, as coaches and play, I understand that everybody else has to do that. I mean, every, if I was a fan or if I was a journalist, I, I would be thinking all those things. For coaches and players, we're thinking about Seattle. We're thinking about, hey, let's watch this tape. Let's see how each one of us can get better and stay in the present, forget everything else. All that matters is Seattle. This one, there's nothing we can do about it except learn from our mistakes. So we'll learn from our mistakes and get ready for Seattle. Frank, just to follow up on Shaq, um, are, are, is the fear of broken ankle? I don't know yet, I don't wanna say, um, so I don't have that information yet. All right, thank you, Coach.